Well, next up on my project list in redoing this room, which is my computer room, is this wainscoting behind me. I finished up the closet doors and I wanted to match the raised paneling and put up the wainscoting. So let's go get started on that. I have some MDF with a side panel of a bookcase. It was given to me. So I'm going to use this either for my rails or stows. So for the top cap, I'm going to put a roundover. So I have a quarter inch roundover bit in the router. I'll go ahead and attach the first stow under the base cap. I'm going to use some glue though to kind of help reinforce my uh, pocket holes, screws. And I'm using the spacer block, by the way, between my stows to get them an equal distance. And I use SketchUp to plot out the stows. Real easy on SketchUp. The stows are now all attached to the bottom. We'll just attach the top now. Well, all the styles are in, top and bottom. All right, I scribed the right side to the wall. So let's see how it fits now.
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. See how level we are. Right on. And this is the top cap. I did I MDF just did a round over on both ends or both edges. So that's going to go up there. And then I have a piece of molding that will go there. Of course, bigger. And then I'm going to use 3 16 hardboard panel molding for that. And that'll go around the edges. And we'll put some construction adhesive on it. Well, now that I have the rails and the stiles up for the wainscoting, I noticed my closet doors here that I've just installed have a raised panel. So I'm going to change directions here. I was going to go with the recessed panel on the wainscoting, but now I'm going to go with a raised panel. That way it'll make it flow the rest of the room with what I have with the doors. So let's go cut those out. Well, there's my raised panels. Give it a light sanding. And then we'll prime it. I will put the panels up now. Put some construction adhesive on it. And I found, if you go in circles, it has, tends to work as a suction cup to hold the panel in place. And I got a piece of the cut off. Just stick there, just to keep it from sagging and we'll do the same for the other pan Again, now that I'm done. Well, now I'm going to put some quarter round, half inch quarter round, around the edge of my recessed panel. And because I have my construction adhesive out, I'm just going to use that. We'll just put some in.
so far I haven't had to use any nails so I don't have to patch any nail holes well there's one down four to go next up is the top rail I just put a three-quarter inch round over on it and we'll put the top rail there I didn't have a 12-foot length of material so it's going to have to do this in two pieces and I put a scarf joint on it which is just a 45 degree cut which I'll glue the second piece on to You can see how the wall bows in a little there, but we'll take care of that later. So we'll continue with our construction adhesive. And our next piece. Now I decided to go ahead and put a couple two inch brads into the top cap and just one more small detail put a little trim under our cap molding and this one I could get 12 feet We'll use a little pin nailer. Well, after putting on a coat of primer, I'm putting on a coat of high gloss white. Well, there it is, my rendition of a raised panel rains cutting. I was able to match the closet door raised panel, and all in all, it looks pretty good. I'm going to change out that wall plate there for the phone jack with a white one. Other than that, it's now onto the floor. Well, this is what I have planned for my floor and then that will be finishing up the baseboards here for the wainscoting too. So thanks for watching. I'll see you on my next project.